What is up everybody? Welcome to another day, another episode and we are on episode 170 which I'm so freaking excited for and it shows how amazing you guys are and supportive and I really do appreciate every single one of you and today I have a very special episode that I really want to talk about different nutritional styles and um, six fat loss nutrition strategies. So it's going to be a lot but I'm going to cover six fat loss strategies that will change the game in your weight loss journey and I promise you that and because calorie counting and all that good stuff can be hard I've put together a free cheat sheet that does the work for you with a very simple math formula. And all you have to do is drop me below this video or send me a message on my Instagram at Salome Abiger, And I will literally send it to you, no emails, no opt-in, my gift to you for listening to me ramble on for hours. And if you're watching for the first time or listening to the podcast for the first time, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Salome Abiger, And over the last three years, I have helped over a hundred women lose 27 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called the Dangerous Divas. And in every single video, every podcast episode every workout I want to give you a quick weight loss tip or something that you can implement into your health and fitness journey immediately because my entire goal is to teach you everything you need to know forever and today in today's episode we're going to cover six fat loss strategies that is all about nutrition that will change your weight loss game and your weight loss journey forever are you ready let's go all right, so these strategies are going to save you so much time, so much energy, and so much frustration. So you might want to write them down because they are good to come back to, okay? Or save this episode. Um, use these strategies and they will literally, literally, they will help you out so much and the results are going to be absolutely amazing. So first strategy, write those things down. First strategy is you want to pre pack your food okay many people find it super annoying and time consuming to track all the food but the thing is is that people are usually trying to track food on the fly right and or even like right after they ate it but by pre-tracking your food you're gonna save so much time and you're gonna have so much more um good positive thinking about it around it right because you're going to have to make a less food related decisions every single day. Okay. So prepack your food. Number three, number two, sorry. You want to have a consistent meal schedule. Okay. Most women don't have any consistency with the way that they're eating in their schedule. Right. And by doing that, it makes it really, really hard for your body to have the reality of hunger signals. Okay. So eating a similar size meals at around the same time every day is one of the best ways to create predictable hunger and have a good schedule to stay on track to get you the best results okay number three is calorie range versus calorie target calorie range is going to be so much better a lot of stress happens when women and food is the beliefs that they have to hit a very specific calorie um you know macronutrient goal right and they have to be like super specific to the point like 1800 calories like that's how much i have to eat but in reality it doesn't have to be the exactly on the dot right it has to be something of range right it doesn't have to be super specific so here's what we can do instead you can eat at a range of calories that will put you in the deficit so just add 100 to 150 below and above your target so if your current calorie intake is 1700 calories then your new range will be you know between 1500 to 1800 so it gives you that good range of being able to you know um not kill yourself over hitting it every single time and going crazy about it number four going over versus binging different type of food so going over your target is not a binge, right? It just means that you overate 
all right, who cares? What matters is gonna be what happens next at your next meal, okay? You will verbally go over your nutrition targets and it happens, it's gonna happen all the time that you will literally go over them and it's inevitable, it is absolutely normal. Now, binging on the other side is when you're like, can't stop eating for hours and that's not what we're aiming to do, okay? We are aiming to sometimes overeat and it's okay, all right? Number five, I hope you guys are writing these things down because they are so good. Number five is optimal versus a plan. Uh, sorry, optional versus plant cheat, plan cheat days. Okay, if you are looking forward to the weekend for your cheat meal, then your dieting approach sucks. Okay, I show every single one of my clients how to eat the foods that they love and still hit their nutritional targets every day. Okay. Cheap meals are not required, but they are optional. Because of the sustainability, you want to have that to be able to eat the foods that you love and still see results. And I promise you, having a meal out is not going to make a difference, okay? And number six, indulge versus going insane and pausing, okay? You want to pause. Most people are eating way too fast than what their actual body can keep up with, okay? So when you're eating a bigger meal, figure out how much you're actually gonna be eating and then wait and take a break, like 10 to 15 minutes before deciding to eat more. That way your body has time to send that satisfaction signals to the brain and say, no, I've had enough food, rather than overeating and then now being like, oh my God, I ate way too much food. See what I mean with these? So those are the six fat loss nutrition strategies that I wanted to share with you all. And I know it's a lot, but if you wrote them down or rewatch the podcast or anything like that, it will definitely help you out. And I promise you, it's all about sustainability, having it all in moderation. I know it sounds easier than done, um, but that's why I created it, the free cheat sheet that does the work for you because it allows you to know how much food you should be eating in a day and also give you some workouts that you can start implementing ASAP. So if you want a copy of that, drop me below this video and I'll drop it into your messengers, no email, no opt-ins. My gift to you for watching this. And if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments and share it with someone else. You know it would help. So I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.